Hello folks, Michael Collins of Enviro Reporter again. Tuesday, September 6th. We're going to test another Japanese beer. Pop it. And pour it. reason we do this, as many of you already know, is that it's hard to measure radiation with water. So depending on the kind of head I get here, if it goes down real slow, then I'll take a a, a short movie uh, break and then we'll come back after it's settled down and I think that's going to be the case here. While we're waiting for this to settle though, uh, one of the reasons we don't identify the brand or brands is because actually our going in looking for any possible radiation in the consumer product stream in America, coming across items that may or may not register high in radiation above background. Uh, we're taking a very limited uh, sampling and so by mentioning uh, actual names or uh, markets it's uh, unfair to those uh, those producers in those markets simply because this isn't as comprehensive as comprehensive a look as one would hope say that your government would undertake Okay, we've let that totally pour out. You can see that there, and we'll come back when it's done, and then measure that filter in the glass container to the left. Hey folks, Michael Collins again, Tuesday, September 6, 2011. We're back after having let that head in this filter for beer number four dissipate, go through the filter. This makes it easier to measure for any additional radiation that may be in this beer. Certainly no guarantee that it filtered all of the radiation. Matter of fact, it most certainly didn't. But it's very hard to take radiation readings of just water. So you see we put that in there. Remove our beer and strainer. Get this thing centered. Get rid of these gloves. So I don't touch the detector with any of the liquid on that. And let's set this for 10 minutes. 100% calibrated. 10 minutes. Keeps lifted off, you see. We're measuring what we've been measuring before, which is for any possible additional radioactivity present in this beer that would be in excess of background radiation. Doesn't seem to be very active. Hard to tell. Radiation comes in waves sometimes. It's just very, it's not homogeneous. We would be delighted to have this come in nice and cool.
so that's the end of the uh, averaging and uh, it comes in a, a little in excess of uh, background we'll do the numbers real quick but not much I can tell you looking at it right now which is good news we like that That's about 12.2% over background, which is not a whole heck of a lot and sounds uh, pretty much equivalent to background, so that's good news. And I guess it should be pointed out that this, uh, this beer does say that it's made with natural water and uh, aroma hop and barley melt. Malt. One reason we're going to leave this test up, uh, you can hear the inspector continuing to detect radiation, most of it background, as you can tell from this reading. It's very important that we show you a test where the beer just tests normal. That's good news.